Hello, welcome to the short video. We're looking at Google Classroom and there's been some exciting announcements. Google have now added some extra functionality to Google Classroom. The first thing they've changed is there's now a reporting function within the admin panel. So you go into the admin panel and you can generate reports, which I imagine Google's hoping will appeal to college senior managers. Certainly it's a decision that they're having to make when they're looking at choosing a platform uh, that they've got to have one that allows them to measure engagement. So that's the first thing. The other changes they've made is the way that they can use assignments and the way you can use assignments. So we still click on the plus and we still choose an assignment. But now you've got the ability to specify an individual student. So instead of all students, you can choose a specific student. And that's great for differentiating the work that you're setting um, and I could really see that being of use where you could individually set students uh, specific and bespoke assignments. One of the other updates, if we go into the students thing, we've now got the ability to email all guardians. And you can see if we click this box there, include this class in guardians email. So it allows, so we tick that box. Um, guardians will see a summary of students work and class announcements. So it means that you can add your contact details of parents and guardians and they're gonna receive that summary. So another really useful feature that's trying to, to make sure that Google Classroom remains relevant and picks up some of those areas that people are looking for, which is obviously involving parents and guardians. The final update relates to updated notifications. So now when students submit work, um, if they submit it late, they get a notification. Um, which is obviously useful uh, and there's another notification um, as, uh, and some other notifications as well. So just very quickly a quick update to some of the new features that have come to Google Classroom. Hope you found that video useful. Uh, join me again soon for more detailed view at the new features within Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.